Hello, my name is Beth Sinella, and I'm speaking to you from the conference room at the Worcester Historical Museum. Well, here in the museum, you can find a wonderful glazed porcelain puzzle or mosaic type piece created by artist Leon Nigrosh in 1988, depicting what the downtown area of Worcester looked like in the 1830s when the Blackstone Canal flowed through the area. The artist used a print entitled View of Worcester Mass, taken from Union Hill, 1833, as his main inspiration. He incorporated visual details from other prints of the period obtained from the library at the museum, and he also took some artistic liberties to include a few details from his own imagination. I will point these out to you a bit later. With that being said, let's take a good look at this piece. Here we see what looks like factories and buildings clustered together. This is the area where the canal began in Worcester. As you heard earlier, it is in fact the same area where the DCU Center is today. These factories produced all kinds of wares and goods that would be used by the growing number of settlers and residents in the area or transported via the canal to the port of Providence, Rhode Island to be shipped for sale in other parts of the world. In turn, materials, tools, and imports needed by farmers and business owners alike would be brought to Worcester by way of the canal. If you move a little bit to the left, we, but still close by, we see several structures nestled together. This would be the center or main street. Here you would find professional offices, small businesses, probably a school and a church, as well as large homes for some of the prominent officials and citizens. Looking along the canal, you see the artist's rendition of the boats used to carry wares and goods between Worcester and Providence. The boats, or barges, as they were also known, were manned by a few men that would steer them along the canal and work to maneuver them through the 49 locks that were needed to compensate for the changes in elevation along the route. Look at the tow ropes. The boats had no engines. Instead, they were pulled up and down the canal by teams of horses secured to the boat by very heavy ropes, traveling up and down the canal on what was called a tow path. Now that's not T-O-E, but T-O-W, much like a tow truck. The same two horses were not allowed to make the entire two-day trip. Instead, each pair were replaced by another pair at various intervals along the route, while the previous pair would get fed and rest. You'll be hearing more details about the canal and the journey a bit later. Moving further away from the center, we can see a bit more of the landscape and what life may have looked like. Here you can see people traveling in a horse-drawn carriage. Others are walking. This man looks like he's carrying some type of tool. He may be going home from work. Looking again at the horses, we see a man riding one of them. This is probably one of the times where the artist used his imagination. The horses that pull the boats did not have anyone riding them. That would only have added to their workload. Going further from the center, we see an open space where families and friends could relax, they may enjoy a concert, or play together. The children would enjoy seeing the boats and horses passing by, like this little girl that's waving to them. These two boys fishing may be another instance where Mr. Nigrosh took an idea from his imagination. In fact, fishing was not allowed in the canal, nor was swimming. And it was probably just as well, because the water was often dirty and even polluted, especially near the factories where waste and trash would be dumped. Looking here at a distance, you can see one of the many homesteads and farms that filled the countryside. Fields of crops and vegetables, 
or cows and animals grazing occupied miles and miles of the landscape along the Blackstone Canal. All in all, Mr. Nigrosh created a unique and wonderful piece of art for the museum. I hope seeing it has helped you visualize what Worcester may have looked like when the Blackstone Canal was in operation. I thank you for your time and your interest, and I urge you to keep watching and listening for more information about the canal and Worcester's history.